So Adab did manage to escape from Terror Tomb at Chessington Warner Adventures. So how did that come to be? Well, I was recently lucky enough to acquire one of the original animatronic props. And I've done a video diary of how I put it back together again. Showing you a bit about the pneumatics, the electronics, uh, and how I kind of got the, the prop to work again. So what you're gonna see now is a video diary and uh, I hope you find it interesting. Okay, so I took delivery of this Adab prop um, this week. Uh, I got it off eBay from our kind friends at British Theme Park Archive. We do a great job of um, storing and, and getting uh, documentaries out there about old dart rides um, at Thorpe Park, Chessington, Alton Towers. Um, so this is from the Terror Tomb ride um, at Chessington World Adventures, which later became Tomb Blaster. Uh, and essentially, uh, you'll, you'll know more from uh, referring to British dart rides, um, that uh, the, the ride was changed uh, some years after it first uh, went ahead. And um, the storyline where they had Adab, uh, the sort of uh, tour guide, uh, props were removed. You can see here, this is uh, the face obviously, and uh, the mouth will go up and down hopefully, like that. And there's a uh, pneumatic cylinder there, air will go into here and here. Um, and also there's a pneumatic cylinder inside as well, you can see, which basically makes his arm move in and out, hopefully. Um, so there's a steel support there, which I need to build some sort of frame so we can sort of screw him to that and stand him up, because he's extremely heavy, and uh, at the moment he, he doesn't stand up by himself. So I've taken Adab's head apart, or just the front off. Um, you can see also the eyes are still on the prop. Uh, there's a separate mouthpiece as well, uh, and then there's the back of his head, um, which needs a bit of um, glue to his wig, but that's not too bad. So after about a week of uh, hard graft, I've managed to construct a frame for Adab to sit on. Um, he's a very heavy prop, as you probably imagine, so he's also got a lot of metal work in there um, and uh, pneumatics, which which are very heavy. Uh, we can see here is part of his face as well. Um, but yeah, just so you know, really, I sort of um, I put it put it on casters so that the uh, it's very easy to move about. Uh, sort of, I'm not best at woodwork and carpentry, but uh, I've reinforced everything as best I can. And hopefully, the good thing is that uh, I've used nuts and bolts so that um, he easily comes off the frame if we need to transport him. So I've got a couple of hands on order because we've only got one hand, which you can see he's uh, lost his fingers. Um, but you can see the incredible detail on that. Uh, this is Adap, uh, fully mounted to his uh, frame that I've built. Um, we've also dressed him now, so he's back to his old self. Uh, um, had to get some new hands, and obviously both of them broken. So these aren't obviously as, as, as good quality as the originals, they're latex. So here we are, here's the finished article after about uh, six weeks of work. Uh, here's Adam in his new scene. Um, so what we've got here is obviously you've seen the prop mounted on its uh, sort of fence post that was there before and also I've dressed it uh, with bits and pieces so we've got some all bits really like I had left over from other, various other projects that I had so I've sort of got a lamp there that flickers um, that's battery powered. We've got some nice sort of uh, fake turf there. This stuff's from um, backing of a fish tank that's so kind of a polystyrene that was easy to cut. Um, some of this stuff's from the pound shop. We've got a fish bowl there sprayed. Um, quite a nice green emerald there. I managed to find on, the, on eBay. Uh, a nice brass doorbell there um, which activates the, uh, the prop. Um, a couple of old surround sound speakers that I managed to find in the garage so I've plumbed them into the system. Um, this chap over here, this skeleton, is uh, a Jemmy prop. Some of you might have seen him uh, before on the internet. Um, he's a, a sort of animatronic skeleton that uh, usually has his own songs that he plays. Um, but this time I've plumbed him in with uh, a microphone which feeds into the audio source of uh, Adab so he can move when he needs to. Um, we've got a couple of stage LED lights there which, uh, which work pretty good. Um, 
The gravestone was uh, something I acquired from uh, Charles Dickens' world in Kent, which was a, uh, a theme park which is now sadly closed. Okay, let's talk about the pneumatics and how ADAB works. Again, I'm no expert in this area. Really, what I've, I've uh, pulled together is, is sort of from the internet and other um, sources of information. So, we have the compressor here that obviously compresses the air um, <clears throat> and then pumps it through to an air regulator. Um, this The props seem to work without it, to be honest, um, but I understand that when, when you compress air, it produces moisture, so without that, moisture was actually flowing past into the solenoid block there, so you don't, you don't really want the moisture in there, so this kind of acts as a, a bit of a filter as well, uh, which is good. And then we come to the solenoid block, so <clears throat> again, I'm no expert here, but the solenoids basically are like a little switch, so when you apply current um, to each solenoid, uh, inside there's a little switch that then switches between um, which air uh, hose is being used. So the air obviously comes into this port here and then into these two separate solenoids. So the um, the one here with the white plastic coming out is this arm movement because it needs a bigger um, bigger pipe whereas the one that goes into the yellow operates his mouth because it didn't need so much pressure on that and obviously the connections inside his head um, only took the smaller wire or pipe sorry so the I think it's four millimeter for his mouth six for the arm and then it comes out into an eight eight millimeter air hose for the for the compressor so air comes in here as i say um and then you've got for each for the arm you've got two you've got an in and an out and you've got an in and out for his his mouth as well so when uh air is pumped into this it pushes the mouth closed ordinarily and then when we put a current onto here, which I've plumbed into a, a low voltage supply, um, it changes the switch inside the solenoid and pumps air into the other pipe. So you've got this um, up and down movement. So um, the, the power supply, these take 24 volts. So um, it's basically a sort of laptop type uh, supply that you need there to operate it. The key for me here, because I'm not again an expert in electric, electrical stuff, is um, everything's low voltage. So what we have here is the exhaust pipe. So of course when the piston's full from one um, side to the other, air has to come back out of the system. So we've got the exhaust pipes for the mouth and the from the arm <coughs> and, the, and the arm there. And these little uh, sort of brass tops there are silencers because um, when the air comes out it makes quite a loud pop. So we'll just pop those in there. So, so we've got the compressor here, we'll just start that up. It's fairly quiet for a compressor. Okay, so that's the compressor. <coughs> Boost up. Yeah, so moving on to the electrical um, side of things, I, I managed to find this, this product uh, on a US website called uh, Fright Props um, and it's called a Peekaboo Plus, they do various models of this but basically this is a, a simple way of animating various uh, props um, and it basically works on relays so there are four outputs here and you basically wire it in such a way that um, when you program the sequence down here um, it opens and closes the relays so we've got a relay for the mouth for the arm and then a relay for the strobe lights and the skeleton. So basically what you do is you plumb in the audio and then you basically animate each um, movement in time with the audio. So you'd push that for the mouth, you'd push that, da -da 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 -da. strobe lights, you'd push that. Um, again it's all low voltage. The strobe lights are uh, 12 volts from um, a pickup truck um, that a pickup truck might use. So they were quite simple to plumb in again um, using a low voltage uh, adapter over there. Um, so that worked quite well. And the skeleton was a nine volt, which had an adapter. So I just split that out and, and plumbed that in as well. Um, you've got your power into the box and then you've got your audio out, which I've plumbed into a, 
an old soundbar that I had knocking around. And also this gave me some speaker outputs to uh, output to the front two speakers at the front of the prop to give it a bit more sound. Um, and then we've got a remote control for the LED lights and the soundbar. So quite a tangle of uh, wires but um, that's the basic setup. Okay, so we're going to just run the sequence now. You can see what's going on. You can see input one is actually his mouth. So you can see it going. Yeah. 